Man, what a privilege it is today for us. I'm, I'm actually a, a bit awestruck, starstruck, to have Leanne Manis yeah. here with us in <laughs> studio. But I'm a bit disappointed, though, that she's a, an Orlando Pirates fan. Um, you well, know? we've been through this. We have been through this. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I think it was, a, it was a title bestowed on me by the nation. Because I wore oh. a Pirates t top once on the show. Yeah. And people just loved it. They were like, yes, she's a supporter. And then, and then I actually wore it. And wherever I wore it, I got treated like a queen. That is and then so I realized, <laughs> OK, I think I'm going to be a Pirates fan. So, I mean, I got the best parkings. I had parking guards oh, high-fiving me. Yeah. I, was, I was like the queen. So that's it. I am a Pirates fan I can now. totally love to see Leanne in a, in a ma Macarapa going like this at a Pirates game. <laughs> can you imagine? That would be so epic. You don't know that I haven't done that. <laughs> oh, very true, I'm very better true. at that than making omelets, clearly. <laughs> clearly. But like I said, I was actually saying earlier on, you know, it was cooked to perfection. Yes, it that, was. No you took, you took inside, your time and you didn't get disqualified, which is actually fantastic. I so, was yeah. close to disqualifying myself, though, to be honest with hey. you. But be anyway. careful how you dish those compliments <laughs> out because it was pretty proud on the underside, I must say. A very interesting thing that I, that I read about you, your ideal five guests that you would invite to a dinner party. Yes. Are very, very different and strange group of people. I wanted to ask you about that and why you'd invite e each of them. I know that Mother Teresa is one of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. who, who else are they? Please tell me. Because uh, I, I actually don't even remember who I you said. Did. You said uh, Mother Teresa. You said yes, Nelson Mandela. You said Osama bin Laden. Oh, would be you said Robert Mugabe <laughs> yes. and George Bush for entertainment. Oh, now, come on. Please. I mean, tell me you wouldn't like to sit around that table. I, would I think that was from you. a while ago. I remember, I remember coming up with that list. You know, whenever you get asked to do these interviews in magazines and they throw these questions at you and you suddenly have to come up with something really interesting yeah, like, yeah. So you sit there and you think, now, how do I mix a table together that could possibly make one of the most entertaining and most ridiculous evenings ever? Yeah. And I think those five guests would be, they would be unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Right? All right. The good and the bad, all together all around together one dinner one table. table. Yeah. Can you just yeah. imagine? Sparks no. would fly. Although, although <laughs> now I think I, I would want to, and then every time everybody asks me who I'd love to interview or speak to now, and believe it or not, I know, it, again, I'm bringing, I'm bringing up the dead. Um, into life, but I would love to chat to Nostradamus. I, oh, I would really yes. like to chat to this guy oh. because everybody is so worried about 2012. Uh -huh. Now I really would like to know what what is there really to worry about? Is it really going to happen? Is it really yes. going to happen? And what else is going to happen? Mm -hmm. So he would be an interesting guy to chat to in this day. Now, stage. unlike Nostradamus, I'm sure you didn't see this one coming because okay. I've got a picture yes. of you. Uh, off the net somewhere. Oh and I want God, you to take a look at this picture me. because uh, I don't, people don't really think about what happens behind them when pictures are taken. Take a look at this picture. Uh, you were there, look at there, on that screen there. So you took a picture with Lucy Hirsch oh. and then behind you that lady was looking at you with her mouth covered no. looking in shock. Oh my God, can I tell you who that is? Who is that? That is, okay, this is this is a shop that I own in Santon City. Yeah. That's, 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 that's my shop and that's, that's Emily who works for me. What so do you you've made her famous. Still <laughs> She's saying, here we go again. <laughs> because, you know, so many people come into the store and they want to, they, they, they sort of, they realize or they cherry on that it is me in the store. I mean, uh -huh. they don't yeah. work it out initially. I mean, yeah. some people come in for that reason and, and if I happen to be there, then great. But other people walk in and they don't necessarily know and then they sort of nearly fall over and drop everything that they're about to buy. And it's like, oh, is it really you? Are you really working in a shop? So, well, well I, yes, I am. I, you know, I'm a shopkeeper by day. What can I tell you? And then, of course, you know, and, and, and this happens so regularly. So the girls are just, here we go again. So <laughs> I, like, I reckon that's what's going on. Here we go. She can believe it. <laughs> now, are you a bit of a petrol head at all? Do you, do you like cars? I, I do. I, listen, I'm married to one, so I do. I enjoy cars. And I, and I promise you, if this was, if this was like, you know, that, that other program that does a similar competition where you go around a racing track, I promise you I probably would have fitted into the second position. I love speed. Oh, I wow. do. Awesome. Uh -huh. I am a speed junkie of note. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. I love it. It's a and good speaking thing. of speed, something that you did not exhibit during our Omni Challenge, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have the winner of our 250 Rand pick and pay voucher for guessing the closest time to uh, what actually happened. And that was Phyllis wow. Mabaso oh. on Twitter. She said three well, minutes, Phyllis. 10 seconds. She that predicted that. Well done, Listen, Phyllis. Wow. You don't know this, but Phyllis and I know each other. <laughs> and I wanted her to win, so yeah. I sort of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Phyllis. <laughs> We'll chat later, Phyllis. That's why. That's really why I was... Well, <laughs> we're going to have more from Leanne a bit later on. Right now, for all those petrol heads out there, it's time for our car review with Chiro and Ewan. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.